Hello, everyone. Welcome to Expand Channel. This is Fan and Phoenix. Okay, let me see how many people are watching now. Okay, maybe we should wait for one minute because some birdies still need time to enter this live stream. Okay, uh, at this time, maybe we can have some free chat. Phoenix, 
any song you listen recently? Do you make a song? So what song he makes? Anybody know? Okay, if you know, please uh, let me know the answer in the chat. Okay, I know what song it is. Okay, let's song together. Is this song right? Okay, have you heard about this song? If you, I know this song is very popular these days. So you know this, if you know this song, please call one. If you don't know this song, please call two. And let me know. Okay, uh, I think uh, it's time to get into our main topic now. Uh, maybe I, can, I should say hello again. This is Fan and the Phoenix. Again. Hello, this is Fan and Phoenix. Welcome to SPPN live stream. And I know our audiences are from all around the world, so um, please allow me to say hello in different languages. So, hello. Hola. Bonjour. Konbawa. Uh, Anyaseyo. Sawadika. Ni hao. Okay, that's all uh, I know. Okay, I think you know our new series, the Innovator 16 launched yesterday and everyone wants to say it badly. So I'm bringing it to you now. Today in this live stream, you can take a close look at this new product and you have a lot of chances to win the prize for free and we provide time-limited discounts only for you, the audiences who are watching this live stream now. So let me show you how to get the discount for Innovator 16. If you are watching this uh, through YouTube, please slide down to the description and you can find their many links to the other page of the Innovator 16. So uh, if you purchase through these links, you can enjoy a direct discount on Innovator 16. Uh, these are the only access for the discount. You can't find it anywhere else in the world. And please know that it's, it, this is a time limited offer. The link will only be valid in two hours. It means if you want to enjoy the discount, you must place the order before 17 p.m. in UTC time zone. Uh, I know there are a couple of links below, so some people might get confused about it and they don't know where they should buy from. But we have also put an instruction to show you which store can cover your country. So please check and find the right link to place your order. Okay, now we can give you two minutes to study the instruction if you are interested in the discount and please just read it but uh if you if you are not in interested right now please listen play um i have listed the content of this live stream here and you can preview what we'll do next okay two minutes
Okay, before we go to the next part, there is something I need to let you know. We all know this live stream is a big giveaway, and we have prepared a lot of prize to for you. And all of you who are watching this live stream now have the chance to get the prize. Um, as what we plan first, we are going to send out. Five pieces of Dato Pro and two pieces of Innovator 16. But if this live stream got more than 1,000 likes, we'll add the price at the end of this live stream. So if you want more chance for the price, please share it with your friends and like it. Okay. Oh, now it's time to welcome the Innovator 16. Oh, it's here. Oh, oh, the first slide uh, I see the Innovator 16 is, uh, I feel it's super light. So even it has a, a, a about a 16 inch screen, I can still do it like this. Ah, it's very light and I can even dance with it. So come with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's just for fun. Um, but I'm sure the Innovator 16 is the smooth the limit is displayed in the world. It's only nine millimeters. So oh, what's the nine millimeter means? I can show it to you. So this is our display. And this is a laptop. So let me put it together. You can see um, uh, it's already a very thin computer, but the Innovator 16 is even more thinner than this, but just not enough. And this is my phone, and let me put it together. Uh, you can see uh, it's almost as thin as the phone. And um, maybe I should make another compare. Uh, 
this is a very popular project of XP Pen. It's called the Deco Pro. Okay, I know they look very similar. Oh, they are twins. Yes. Okay. This is our best tablet till now. So let me put it together. Yeah. Uh, they almost have the same thickness. So, um, so I think uh, you get a basic feeling of this now. And we call this product the innovator because the design is really innovative and it doesn't like any, it doesn't look like any other display in the world. And um, look at the surface. It's uh, clean, elegant, modern, and full of, how to say, full of metal texture. And uh, with this play, Maybe you can carry it with a bag. I think uh, if you carry it out with a bag, it's very cool. Um, okay, till now I know uh, what I say about the Innovate 16 is only the outside appearance. And I didn't mention the inside performance at all. Do you know why? Um, because, because I'm a very shallow girl, so I don't care about inside performance at all. I only care about the outside appearance. Okay, just kidding. Um, because today uh, we have a very professional guy to introduce this part instead of me. Uh, if you are following our SNS, you should have known that Till will join our live stream today. Till is an artist from Singapore. He has done a lot of tutorials and uh, product reviews on his channel, uh, and his uh, coverage is very wide. You can see he has reviewed a lot of digital painting tools like the tablet, the display, the pads, and he's also very professional um, in the traditional ways, like um, the pencil, the watercolor. And we believe based on his rich experience, he can give you many constructive ideas. Uh, if you have any question for Till or about painting, uh, you can ask, uh, you can just leave your answer in the chat and chill my answer later. Okay, let's get connected with Till. Hello, everyone. Am I live? Hello, Till. Hello. <laughs> hello. Um, Only... Yes. Hello. Can uh, you say, hello, please say? So, do you want to say hello to our audiences? Yes, hello all the fans of XP Pen. I'm Tio, and I run a YouTube channel that goes by my name. And I like all forms of art, traditional art as well as digital art, which I mostly do for my work. I work as a graphic designer. So this whole YouTube and the blog that I run online, uh, that's actually my hobby. I actually use uh, such products. Uh, professionally uh, in my office. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Theo, uh, I know uh, it's quite late in Singapore now. Oh, yes. uh, I think uh, it's about um, uh, 11 p.m. Yep, 11 yes. past 11.15. Uh, so we should, yeah, so we should thank you for staying up so late with us. No problem. Okay. <laughs> okay. You received the Innovator 16 a, a couple of days ago. So, 
I think you have used it a little bit since you received it. So can you share your feeling with us? Um, the first time when I unboxed the pen display and took it out, it was not power on, so everything is black. I thought it was just one of those normal pen tablets, you know, the tablets that don't have a screen. But once it's powered on, you can see the colors are quite vibrant. And this is as thin as those are pen tablets that you usually use. And this is even thinner compared to the pen that's included. This yeah. Is, yes, this is even thicker compared to the tablet. So this is really thin. And the colors, they look good. So you can see the viewing angle from all different angles. The colors, you notice that they don't shift a lot. So viewing angles are fantastic. And this display has, I mean, the display is laminated. So there's no gap between the pen tip and the line that it creates. Later on, I will show you up close uh, the about the laminated display. But so far, from what I have seen, and I've tested this for a few days, the performance is very good. As good as the XP pen tablets and pen displays that they have made so far. So this is the thinnest that they have made, and the performance is as good as all the pen tablets uh, that XP pen has made previously. Oh, OK. So uh, could you? Uh, test it a little bit. Maybe you oh, can okay. start a sketch with us first. Yes, let me open up the sketch. Let me turn the camera around. Okay. okay. All right, oh. so. I am using Clip Studio Paint. This is running on Windows. There, you may see this strong light source here. That's my light above. There's actually a matte surface screen protector that's on the display. Okay, so let's draw something. Let me just try and draw something. So I'm going to draw my two-year-old daughter, Tiffany. The, let me just zoom in bigger for you guys to see. So oh. the How old is your is daughter? really sensitive. My daughter is now two years old and uh, four months, two years and four months. Oh, OK. Yeah. So the pen supports slightly over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. And it's very sensitive. There is also tilt sensitivity support as well. Let me show you the let me show you the laminated display. Ah, your daughter is really cute. <laughs> yeah, she's eating some biscuits. <laughs> I'm actually drawing, drawing with the help of a reference photo. So, let's see the line quality. It's, it's good. The initial activation force um, is very minimal, which means I can actually apply little to no pressure and you can get a very thin line. Now do notice, um, do take note of the of where the line is and where the pen tip is. You may notice that there is no gap between the line and the pen tip beneath. So that's a laminated display. Let me push this even closer for you guys to see. Product performance with Clip Studio Paint, it's quite smooth. So let me show you the initial activation force, how low it is. So right now I can 
just draw with the pen like this, holding right at the end. As long as the pen touches the display, you can get a line. So that's how sensitive the pen is. I think it may even be more sensitive compared to the Artist 24 Pro, the biggest pen display from XP Pen. Oh, that one is much more heavier than this one. Yeah, that is much more heavier. And that is also much thicker. The selling point of this pen display is it's very thin and the colors are fantastic. I've actually color calibrated this uh, with a calibrator and I measured around 100% sRGB, which is really good. It's 80 over percent, it will be RGB. So if you are, so if you need to do like color critical work, work that requires color accuracy, this is definitely a pen display you can consider. I mean, for photo editing, definitely no issues at all. Okay. I have also tested this with Photoshop, Minibank Paint Pro, and what's the other one? Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer. And all those software, they work well here. I mean, work well in the sense that the pressure works and tube sensitivity also works, at least for the various software that I've tested, namely Krita. Tube sensitivity works with Krita. I don't usually use tilt brushes, so um, I cannot demonstrate that well to you. Okay, so this sketch is almost done. She is eating her biscuit from this box. Now this pen display doesn't use a lot of uh, electricity because it can be powered by this USB. It's powered by this USB cable. So it doesn't produce a lot of heat. I have this display on for four or five hours already and it, it doesn't give up a lot of heat. So you can definitely rest your palm on it and draw for long periods of time without discomfort. Okay, let me color this. Um, is that the color I want? Nope, that's the, the early color is the color that I want. Let me show you the buttons on the side. Um, as I don't usually use the buttons on the side because I prefer to use my keyboard shortcut because I can have access to a lot more shortcuts. There are eight shortcuts that you can customize on the side. Should you want to customize those? Oops. So this is Tiffany. What makes a good tablet and pen display is um, the pen display has to be accurate. That means when you draw, the line has to come out exactly where you want it to come out. So accuracy is very important. This is too light. Let me make this darker. So when it comes to accuracy, this pen display, it's very accurate. The cursor is always directly beneath the pen tip. And if you have, uh, I mean, if you notice any parallax, you can go on further to calibrate the cursor to the pen tip. But this is just a 15.6 inch display, so you probably we will not see parallax. Parallax comes from basically uh, if the glass is quite thick or if there's a gap between the glass and the LCD beneath, then you're going to see parallax. So 
So when drawing with this pen display, it really feels like the line is coming out from beneath the pen tip. So that's what I. So that's one thing I really like about this pen display. I cannot remember the price. I think the price for this pen display is uh, the official retail price is US four hundred ninety nine dollars. Uh, I'm not too sure, but you guys can check out on Axie Pen's website. Okay, so this sketch is almost done. Just need to add some shadows. So this is just a very quick sketch. Usually, um, I would do quick sketches like this on pen and paper. So drawing digitally, it feels a bit different compared to drawing on pen and paper. Okay, almost done. Pen, I mean the build quality for the pen is quite good as well. I mean the whole pen display, it's, the build quality is very solid. Okay, maybe add some shadows here. Some shadows. I hope the audio is all right. I probably should have asked this, asked you guys about the audio earlier. On. Okay. Alright, so this is the sketch drawn really quickly. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. Maybe I'll answer them later on when I see them, see your questions. Alright. Let's try some cross hatching or hatching. The strokes, by the way, they taper really nicely. They taper very gradually. And I'm able to maintain consistent pressure while drawing. So sometimes when you draw like long lines, uh, sometimes the thickness be wobble slightly when you draw like long lines like this. But this pen, it's is as accurate as it can be. Okay, that's her, Tiffany, eating biscuits. Hi, it's so cute. Uh -huh. <laughs> um. Okay, back to you, Ben. Okay, and uh, thank you for introducing this for us. You are really much more professional than me too. <laughs> and uh, I know all our, uh, our audiences have got some best understanding of the Innovate 16 now. Mm -hmm. So please remember the time limited discount is available now from now to 17 p.m. in the UTC time zone. You can enjoy the discount for Innovator 16 in our official stores. And the purchase link can be found in the description. Um, okay, now we have come to a part which is expected by many people, the price join. Okay. We published a post a couple of days ago and to let everyone guess the name of our new series. And we received more than 4,000 comments from our customers. And let me show some idea with you, Theo. Okay. okay. The idea for the 
name of the new product. We have XP Pen Superstar. <laughs> Superstar. Uh, uh, yeah, I saw a lot of memes also. Okay, XP Pen Infinity. And XP Pen Horizon. And XP Pen The Moon. It's, uh, it's it because we have a star series, so we need to have a moon series and a sun series. Do you think so? <laughs> okay. Um, next time, uh, when we when we bring out a new series, we don't need to worry about the name anymore because we have so many brilliant ideas here. And um, okay, other people who participate in the game can have chance to win the prize. And in this round, we are going to send out three pieces of Deco Pro and one piece of Innovator 16. Okay, let's go to the price drawing page. Okay, Tail, you can see there are a lot of names rotating on the screen. And we are going to pick up three winners from them. So please, okay. could you please count down from five to zero and stop and the name live on the screen will be the winner. So totally four winners out of the 4,000 names. Four okay. Winners. Okay. Five. Okay. Four. The first one. Three. Oh, can I count down? Okay. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Okay. Nicole this Shine. is a little shine from YouTube. Congratulations. You win a Deco Pro. Okay. The second one. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Oh, it's a Instagram user. Okay, I don't know how to read it. <laughs> Chai Kinami yeah. twenty four. <laughs> twenty four. Okay. That's a very long yeah. Name. Yes. So also we are Deco Pro, and the third one. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Oh, uh, it's a Twitter user. The flammation. Uh, okay, a deco pro. Okay, the last one. So, do you know what's the price for the last one? What's the price? Yes. The price for this one is the Innovator 16. Oh, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Wow, it's a Facebook user, the Drew Lawrence. Wow, you win an Innovator 16. Congrats, congrats. <laughs> yeah, congrats. Okay. Um. Congratulations to the four winners of the prize drawing. And even you didn't get the prize, don't be upset because later we'll have a very interesting game. It's the quiz with prize, so you still have chance for the prize. And don't forget, uh, if this live stream get more than one thousand likes, we'll add a chance for the prize at the end of this live stream. But before we go to the quiz, um, uh, let's take a break. Um, Till, um, before this live stream, we have told our fans of your appearance to this live stream, and we receive very warm responses from our customers. And they have some questions for you. Would you like to answer for them? Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay, um, so the quest question one uh, is the question from Instagram. Tail, we know you have a very lovely daughter, Tiffany. Uh, have you started teaching her drawing? 
I haven't started teaching her drawing yet, but I've given her pencils, color pencils to play around. So I would give her like those very thick color pencils and a sketch book, and she would just flip the page and just draw, scribble. <laughs> <laughs> but she's too it's too early for me to teach her yet. She doesn't understand. She just draws like strange things. <laughs> so when you start to teach her? Oh um, I guess when she when she knows how to write alphabets, then maybe I will teach her. Okay, so uh, what kind of uh painting you start from? Oh um, I will just let her use pencil and color pencil because uh, if she draws on the wall, she has actually drawn on the wall here. I can use my eraser to go <laughs> erase the pencil marks. So I will not let her use okay. anything that has ink in it. Ballpoint pen, markers, pens, uh, brushes, uh, all out. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, so the question two uh, is a question from YouTube. Hi, Till. I'm a housewife with two children. I love painting, but my husband doesn't support my art career. Uh, if I can increase my income with painting, I may change his mind. So any suggestion for me? Um, if, if it's just about increasing your income to show that your husband that um, an art career is actually viable, then it's not, I mean, it's challenging, but it's it's still possible because there are other artists that have proven that they can sell art through the internet. So it is definitely possible. It's, it just depends on how much effort you want to put in. So my recommendation will be, or my advice will be, um, you can spend one or two hours each day out of the whole day which is actually not a lot of time, but you can do a lot of work with just one and two hours. You can paint, you can share your work on social media, on the internet to basically show people your art. And the more people that can see your art, the more uh, likely someone may actually buy from you. So it's really about putting the effort and creating a lot of artworks and putting it out there. That's why uh, if you take a look at my blog and also my YouTube channel, I put out a lot of content. So that is one way uh, that people can find you through your content. Oh, yes, uh, because now there is a digital world. We have much more chances than before. Okay, the question straight. Oh my God, it's a question for Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix. Why your head is so big? Phoenix doesn't know either. Okay, let's go back to Tail. So Tail, uh, what is the most frustrating thing happened to you in your artwork? Um, in my artwork, frustration, let's see. Uh, since we are talking about pen displays and tablets, um, the most frustrating thing is when you're working halfway and the software just crashes and you have forgotten to save your work. <laughs> yeah, it happens. It happens quite rarely, but it does happen. So usually for me, I will I will always save my work continuously. It's now a subconscious habit for me. So every time I would draw, I when I'm not doing anything else, I would just Control S, the keyboard shortcut Control S to save my work. So even when the software crashes, I will not lose like a lot of work. Imagine if you have, if, imagine if you're working on your art for half an hour and it crashes, that's half an hour ago. So yeah, software crashes, they still happen. And that's very frustrating. Okay, uh, I agree with you, nothing worse than this. Okay, um, uh, many people have, uh, ask questions in the chat, in the live chat. So we have um, picked some for you. And this is a question from YouTube. Uh, if we don't have a tablet, what do we start drawing to improve, the, to improve our skills? 
oh, you if you don't have tablet, you can just draw with pen and pencil or with pen and paper. So that when it comes to drawing, you can actually just draw with anything. It doesn't have to be a tablet. The easiest way is actually the most cost effective way is actually to draw with pen and paper. And I'm still drawing with pen and paper even today, even though I'm using uh, tablets and pen displays. The main reason why I like drawing with pen and paper is because uh, it's there's this very tactile feeling that you're drawing when you're drawing on paper and it's very nice to see the lines come out from the pencil or from the pen. Yeah, so just start with just start with whatever that you can find in your pencil case or at home and you can just draw. The tools doesn't really matter. You can draw with anything. And even though we can join on the sense, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I have a friend, I have a friend who draws on leaves that she picks up on the floor, on the ground. That's cool. Yeah. And uh, next question uh, is Raymond Art from YouTube. Tell, uh, I always make free drawing requests instead of commissions because I think art should be available for free for everyone. Would you agree? Um, if you're drawing art just for fun, just to share around, uh, I don't see why there is a problem. I mean, I make a lot of art to share around as well. Like for example, this sketch that I just drew here, I may share it on Instagram later. It's also a free art to share around. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, thank you too for sharing so much with us and we can go to the next part now and the quiz time and from now I'll ask some questions and you can make your answer in the live chat. The one who got first place for the right answer will win our prize and in this round we'll send out Two pieces of Deco Pro. So are you ready, everyone? Okay, let's go to the question one. Uh, what's the thickness of Innovator 16? Uh, I think this uh, question is very, very easy because I we have mentioned a lot of times before. So just see who is who is the most quick one. Okay, let's go to the answer. So the innovator sixteen is nine millimeters, and let's go to the question two. What is the date of XPPen's first live stream? Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry, uh, I, uh, I forget to let, um, to let you know uh, because um, uh, our audiences answer the question so quick. So it's hard for us to know who is the first one uh, immediately. <laughs> so we have to find it later uh, after this live stream. So we can't, uh, we can't announce the winner right now. So, okay, question two. What is the date of SPPEN's first live stream? Uh, this is our second live stream. And what about the first one? And do you remember what our first live stream for, Tail? I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> Um, uh, I can tell you, uh, our first live stream is for the Artist 24 Pro. Oh, yeah, 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 yes. <laughs> our latest product before the Innovator 16. Okay, let's go to the answer. It's on May 30. Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, for now, 
uh, even though I don't know who you are, but uh, I believe two two audiences have got the prize. Okay, the next question is a little bit different. Uh, we know Till is very good at the landscape sketching, and he will start a sketch of a world famous place with the Innovator 16. And please guess which place he's drawing. And the same, um, the one who got first place for the right answer can win our grand pr prize. And this time the prize is the Innovator 16. Okay, let's move to Theo now. All right, let me switch the camera over. Okay. Face the display. All right. Oh, hit me. Yes, let me create a new file. Okay. Save this and create a new file. Here we will start a sketching now. Please guess where, which place he is joining. So is this, so is the winner going, is the person who is going to guess right the winner? Oops, that's the brush. Create new layer first. Okay. Let's see. Oops. It's actually very difficult to draw a straight line. Okay. Mm. Open up my reference photo on the side. Why is there a line there? So I usually use pen tablets in the office. I work as a graphic designer, so I use such products in the office rather than just pen and paper because with digital products like this, you can undo. So being able to undo is great. Because when it comes to working with graphic design, sometimes you need to make a lot of changes. Okay. Oh, the, uh, is it a place where you have ever traveled to? Um, I've not been to this place before, but this is a very iconic place. I mean, this is a very iconic building that I am very sure everyone will know. I hope to go there one day after okay. the pandemic. Okay, I can't, I can't place. <laughs> it's very iconic. I am very sure everyone will know. It looks like a big architecture. Yes, it is a big architecture. I've not been to this place before. I've not visited this place before, but it's very popular. As in, there are a lot of tourists. So let me just draw very quickly and later on go on to color it. Okay, I think once I draw this, people will know what it is. Brown enough. All right. Uh, it looks like a castle. It's um, probably even more famous than a castle. <laughs> uh huh? Yes, it's more um, famous than a castle. Is it White House? No. It's, uh, I would say it's as famous as the White House. But it's not. Is White it House. the Kremlin? <laughs> no. no. Kremlin? Is that, is that a building? That sounds like a building in Russia. 
the Notre Dame. No, not the Notre Dame. Oh, I should have drawn the Notre Dame. I like that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I really like that beauty. So usually for me, I like to draw uh, urban sketches, like urban scenes. So I would like to draw uh, things out on location. Drawing on location versus drawing digitally, it's very different. Um, the reason why I like to draw on location is because I get to remember more of the scenes that I draw. And it's also a good way to practice your observation skills, especially when you're using paper, a pen and paper. Because if you make mistakes, uh, the mistakes will be permanent on paper, so you tend to be a bit more careful. With digital art like this, uh, when you know that you can undo so many times, uh, there's basically unlimited undos, you tend to be a bit more careless and hence you may make more mistakes. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Let me draw some. Windows. These are actually not windows. Okay. Oh, I believe uh, someone has already got right answer, but we all want to see you to finish this schedule. Okay. I'll try to finish this very quickly. No, uh, no, no, no. Take your time. Just uh, as long as you all want. Okay. Let me just talk more about the product. So I've tested this um, pen display, the Innovator 16, on both Mac and Windows, and it works well. As in, I didn't notice a lot of, uh, I didn't notice any major issues. So the performance that you see here is actually the performance that you will see with uh, Photoshop, Mini Bank Paint Pro, Krita, Affinity Photo, and other drawing, at least those other drawing apps that I have tested, they all perform the same. So the performance is really very good. 15.6 inch is a nice size. It's a very comfortable size to work with. The size is slightly larger than an A4 piece of paper, so you get a lot of space to work with. And the resolution is 1080p, so it's all right for, oh, I forgot to save. Remember earlier I said that you must save. Yes, you must always save your file. So what was I talking about? Oh, the size. 15.6 inch is actually a nice size to work with. Personally, for me, um, I will go for slightly smaller, as is, I will not go for the largest pen display because my table doesn't have that much space. Okay. This is the other tower on the side. I have been to the country where this building is located, but I've not seen this building myself. Nowadays, they don't make um, they don't build buildings like this anymore. So all the beautiful buildings that you see nowadays, um, most of them, if you take a look at them, most of them were actually built hundreds of years ago. Okay. So my style is very sketchy. This is actually the style that I use for my pen and ink watercolor art. With digital oh. yeah. Oh, 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 when, uh, when, when Theo is drawing, uh, I just want to remind our audience again, 
uh, if we get more than 1,000 likes uh, in this live stream, we'll add a chance for the prize. So cool. just remind our audiences. So please go on. I'm sorry. How many likes are there now on the page? Uh, it's, uh, it's more than 900 now. Wow. OK, that's quite amazing. That's a lot. Yes. That's a lot. So we just, so guys, you just have to like it another hundred times, like the live stream another hundred times, and there will be more prizes. Are there going to be more prizes? Oh, yeah. Uh, we got uh, 935 now. Whoa, 935. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Nine hundred and forty-seven. Nine hundred and fifty. Whoa. Okay. I guess the main difference between digital art and traditional art is digital art you can undo. That really is the main thing about digital art. That is the that is the selling point for digital art. Nowadays, there are so many artists that are so good that they can draw digitally, and it looks like a traditional piece of art. And also, digital art is more way more convenient. Yes. That's for sure. Yeah. Like you can draft out ideas very quickly. So for pen and paper, you still have to scan. And then you need to send to somebody. You have to scan and then send to someone. But for digital art, once you draw the file, it's already on your computer. This diagonal line is challenging. I really like this software, Clip Studio. And it's not a very expensive software, too. It's less expensive compared to Photoshop, and it's fantastic for drawing. So it's really worth the money. Okay, so the main building is done. I just need to add some colors. Let me add the sky. Let me pick blue. Oh, I think I also know the answer now, but I won't say. No, not this I blue. won't tell everyone, anyone. I like to draw with line art. Because I mean it's easier for me. Okay, let me pick the blue again. Different blue. Try. Um, all right. I think I shall pick this blue. Now, one trick that you can use to paint the clouds is just Control Click on the layer, and it will basically this will make the color as a selection. So you can. So now when you paint, you're only painting within the shape, within the color shape. Okay. Need to paint. The buttons here on the side, the scroll down, the they actually do work and they can customize them. So right now I'm choosing I'm using the dial to change the brush size. This black part here, this dial, this black area here, you can also use it to change uh, brush size or whatever keyboard shortcut that you want. Okay, so let me see if I've left out anything. Let me just cover the main building. So I'm going to use the paint bucket to it's too, is that that's a bit too dark. 
Let me just pin this in this color. All right, how many likes are there on the live stream now? Uh, how many likes <laughs> we receive now? Uh, let me check. Uh, it's 986 also. Wow, that's very close. That's yeah. like 14. I'm very sure close. you'll be able to <laughs> make 1,000 likes. Reach 1,000 likes. Okay, now it's 993. Wow. Only seven likes left. Yeah. Okay, this paint bucket too, it's really useful. You can use this to just color this so very quickly. Okay. Making art definitely takes time. So even though for this particular piece, I actually wanted to like sketch like really fast, but once you start drawing the details, um, it's very quick to just lose track of time. But I am almost done. I'm going to keep this sketch very, um, very simple and very loose. Okay, let's see what else I can add. Okay, shadows, of course. Let's add some shadows. Oh, just let you know, too, we, we got more than a thousand likes oh, now. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of people watching. Yeah. Probably even more people watching this live stream than my own live stream. <laughs> okay, almost done. Let's paint the shadow side. Oops. So once I make the selection, I can paint within the color shape without um, without the color painting over onto the sky. For the dome, I'm going to use airbrush. Let me pick a soft, smooth airbrush. Soft. Oops. And for this side, we will make it lighter. Is it lighter? I cannot tell. Maybe just let me just put it as white. Yep, so when it's white, it's more obvious. Okay, now just to add little details, let me add another layer for the details. is really sensitive so right now I'm not I'm just barely moving the the pen tip is barely touching the surface and I can see those lines so this is very sensitive and very accurate also okay the ground Let's paint this. Oops. Mm, this needs to be a different color. And just use the paint bucket to paint. Okay, great. The 
paint bucket to save me so much time. Let's do a green. Okay, then this green should work. Slightly more yellow green here. And here. And for the green, I also want to maybe add some little texture here. By the way, um, you can actually tap on the display to create dots. And it's very easy to create dots like that. So it's depth sensitive. Okay. Draw. And this sketch is almost done. Just need to draw some trees. Okay, since many people has already got the answer, maybe we should change the question to, um, do you know who uh, this building uh, built, built for? <laughs> I think yeah. uh, this is much difficult than <laughs> my previous yeah. question. Yeah, I hope you have to go online and search for the answer. Okay, let's draw some trees and we, are, we will be done. Almost done. And oh, I uh, remember a question that quite a lot of you have asked, like uh, how do you get comfortable drawing digitally? So um, this can apply to uh, those who are using pen tablets as well as pen displays. Pen tablets are basically those um, tablets without any displays. You just practice. And the more you practice, the more familiar you will be with your tool, and soon you will be very comfortable drawing with it. And I can, I mean, you may think that it's a silly, silly answer, but the thing is, if you take a look at how you're using your computer mouse, I'm very sure that you are so familiar with using the computer mouse that you can click on a pixel on the screen very accurately if you move your cursor to it. So if you can move your mouse that accurately, you will be able to use a pen even uh, more easily. It's just that you have used the computer mouse for so long that you are so familiar with the tool that it's very easy to, I mean, for you to do that. So when it comes to hand-eye coordination with uh, pen tablets, I mean, drawing on the tablet without a screen and looking at the display, I mean, looking at a monitor and draw, it just takes time to uh, it just takes time to get used to it. Do remember that before such pen displays are available were available, digital artists back then, 10, 20 years ago, they were drawing with uh, Wacom tablets without any displays and they were making like really good art as well. Okay, maybe I need to add some texture. I want to add some texture to oops, wrong texture. Some spray texture. Yep. I think this is nice the spray texture to give it more Texture. Oh yeah, and I want to give this a bit more highlight. So let me use the eyedropper, and I'm gonna just make it white. 
Oh, okay, I set this to multiply. Let me just push this all the way down. No wonder I wasn't able to see the bottom of it. Okay, let's paint white. Basically to give this building some highlight. Digital drawing, while well, compared to traditional, it not only saves time, but it also saves you money, believe it or not, because you are not always going out to buy pen and paper. So even though such products can be expensive, but if you actually use them a lot, in the long run, it actually will save you money, especially if you are using it to create work. Okay, the sketch is almost done. Perhaps I want to draw some people in the scene. These people are very far away, so let's just draw them very small. There's some people here as well. <laughs> Tourist. Yeah, tourist. Okay, I think this is this is done. Um, okay. Uh, okay. I I believe all the uh, all the audiences who are watching this live streaming they know the answer. So yeah. even though I don't need to tell them the answer, they already know. Yes, it's that's why I say it's a very iconic. Okay. <laughs> Everyone will know the answer. Okay. So, um, while Cheryl is drawing, we got more than one thousand likes. So, mm -hmm. as what I promised at the beginning, um, we'll add some price. Oh. For our audiences. So how do how are people going to win the prizes? Uh, and it's the quiz with prize. Oh, quiz. Okay. Yeah, but in this round, the question is much more difficult than the previous oh. one. <laughs> okay, I think it's done. Yep, just a very simple, quick sketch. I think I took maybe 15 minutes to draw this. Is it, is it that long? Okay. 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 It's really, uh, <laughs> it's a nice landscape. <laughs> okay. The, Maybe uh, 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 maybe you can sign on it, Teo. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to sign. to sign. Yes, let me sign here. Let me create a new layer to sign. Oops, wrong brush. Oops. Today is fourth. Is this the fourth? Uh, uh, yeah, it's July four. Uh, but but in Singapore, it's July fifth now. <laughs> yeah, it's July fifth now. Okay. Okay, it's finished. Yep. Wow. Very quick sketch. Okay, so you can finish a uh, such beautiful sketch with the. Oh, so quick. Okay, thank you, Tail. Okay, before we go to the next part, we should thank Tail again. 
we really had a great time with him. And even though we all want him, we all want him to stay in the last room longer, but um, it's really late in Singapore now. And till, till you need to take care of Tiffany tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So no, maybe, no. maybe he need to say goodbye now. Uh, but uh, before you say goodbye, uh, I have a, our audience have, a, have the last question for you. Okay. Okay. So uh, this question question is asked um, by Bobby L H S. So, can you give me some motivation for us who got rejected a lot of who got rejected a lot in art? I joined about six contests this year and lost. I don't have a tablet, and I'm trying to earn more. Could you give him some motivation? Motivation. Um, okay, first of all, work on your art first. Like, really practice every day. Um, learn from as many people as possible. Get critics. Um, send your art to your friends, to people, to artists, to teachers, to other artists that you see online, and get critics from them. Um, find out how you can improve your art. And even though you were rejected by contests, um, it doesn't really mean anything. Um, it could mean that your work is not there yet, or it could mean that uh, the judges, they don't like your work. So it could mean, actually it could mean a lot of things. But one thing is, one thing for sure is, if you can see potential in yourself, then you should work to your potential. Because judges and other people, friends, parents, even your, uh, anyone, nobody can see your own potential except for yourself. So if you believe you have the potential, if you have the discipline, then just go for it, put in the effort, put in the time to practice and get better. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for sharing this with us too. <laughs> And now it's really the time to say goodbye. Bye, okay. Tail. See you next time. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, fan. Bye. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. Now it's the prize time again. Um. We have prepared some gift package here. And this package is a value more than $100, but it's not for sale. You can only get it as a price. Okay, let's see what's inside this package. There is a small version of Phoenix. It's a white model. So you can color it to whatever you like. Maybe you can color it to this, or you can change it to another style. And there are some keychains of Phoenix. And there is a XP10 notebook. There are some name cards with uh, the excellent, excellent artworks. And, okay, this is a really good gift. Uh, it's, this is a copy marker with 12 colors. And in this package, you also have um, a XP pen cap like this, what I'm wearing now. And you have the bag to carry the Innovator 16. So uh, in this round, we're going to send out two pieces of 
the give the packages. Okay, let's go to the question one. What's the slogan of the 14th anniversary of XP Pen? So the 14th anniversary uh, is on 2019. Do you remember what's the slogan? Oh, okay, I already see the right answer. So the answer is everyone is creative. Okay, the question two. What real animal is the reference of XP Pen Mexico Phoenix? Don't please don't just tell me the fox. We all know Phoenix uh, is a fox. But uh, you should tell me what kind of fox it is. Tell me the full name of this fox. Okay. Uh, I know this question is very, very difficult. But um, I think our audiences are very clever. You must have the way to find the answer. <laughs> okay, I already see the uh, see the right answer in chat. It's the Phoenix Fox, and I have we have prepared another big prize for you. We are going to send out another phase of Innovator 16. And um, this is really the last question tonight. And this is the last chance to get the prize. So are you ready? Okay, here we go. Uh, the first animation contest of XP Pen Change has just finished. Two brilliant animations win the grand prize. What's the title of these two animations? Uh, I can give you some clue. You can find the answer uh, on our Instagram and you can go directly to our official website and go to the contest page. Um, the result has already been announced, so you can find the answer very easily. Okay, you're really great. I somebody right right answer. Okay. Uh, okay. The first champion is called Remember. Uh, what this animation wants to express is that as the time goes by, the world is changing all the time. But no matter how the world change hard work changes. We should always remember who we are, where we are from, and what we are living for. Or oh, maybe let's get a quick view of this animation. Are you okay? I can't do this! Everything I'm doing is wrong! 
How am I supposed to... Oh... Come on, Erica. Yes, you can. Just change your perspective. Remember why... <gasps> Erica, look out! Okay, uh, the, the other champion uh, is the procrastination. Uh, what this animation express is to change ourselves and get rid of the procrastination. Okay, let's see. Hi, I'm Chalako, and the topic we'll be learning about is change. So to start off... <laughs> Is that really something you know about? Hmm? Well, what is a shame? If you really want to talk about change, should that change start with you? Even so, what change can you bring when all you are is mediocre? It's truly laughable. Hmm? Hey, we're friends, right? So how about we split this in half? <sighs> Looks like I broke it. Here's your share. No. and that I have to change. And like all changes, it has to start from yourself. And if change starts with oneself, mine shall start with defeating you, procrastination. As close as you like. Uh, how long did I sleep? Well, better start animating them. This animation uh, is in Jojo style. <laughs> Do you know Jojo? Like this. Okay, uh, through this animation contest, we have found a lot of talent, talented animators. And uh, we also find a lot of people uh, who are interested in being an animator. So. 
I have a good news for all of you. In the not long future, we'll start a program. It's called the 12 week animator incubation. Uh, the, pr the principle of this uh, program is to help you become an animator from a starter in 12 weeks. So if you are interested in it, please uh, follow our official accounts and keep attention to our latest news. The next, the last room comes to the end. Um, but before, before the end, I should remind again, the time limited discount is available in our official stores. And um, the duration is to 17 p.m. in UTC time zone. And the only accesses um, are in our live stream. Maybe we should say goodbye now. Bye-bye. See you next time in our next live stream. Bye.